so welcome students to the diverse world of biology so let us start the third session on the unit diversity in living organisms you learn how diverse are the qualities or the uh, characters found in different plants or animals that means when you see two organisms you cannot say they are identical though they may belong to the same group that means there is variation so that is very important thing what you learned in the last class is variation what was the definition for variation differences the difference is what you see it may be in the species or in different species so there was some differences which was seen that differences is nothing but variation and this variation forms the base this variation or this differences forms the base for evolution like just take the example of grass family so there are some characters which are similar like parallel venation adventitious roots so all this they belong to grass family so they are all clumped together in one family so that means this variation or differences forms the base for evolution now you know evolution when i say evolution you can just think of our early man how we evolved how long how many years it took for the evolution when we remember evolution remember charles darwin lamarck these were the scientists proved about evolution so now we will not go to evolution we are talking about classification now why is this classification important like in your class you have some students who come from one village the other come from the other village so they are all clubbed together in one group that means those who come from mullangi will be in one group those who come from kulaspur kanda will be in one group that means you are making different groups you are classifying the students same way when you have your results there also you are classified if you get good marks you are above average if you get little low mark average if you get very low marks you are below average so there is some classification which we see same way we have to see the classifications so what is the base for this classification or selection so variation forms a basis for selection of characters to group organisms that means now our main aim is to group different organisms because if we do not group different organisms there may be i told lot of confusion lot of chaos which belongs to which group where this plant is nobody knows so there are some botanist botanist means one who studies about the subject name botany botany means study of plants zoology study of animals so this scientists come together and they have done this classification so classification in biology is a systematic study of organisms present in nature with respect to their evolution so classification is nothing but it's like a systematic study in your class you have your roll number 1 2 3 according to your admission number you are given the roll number so that means if i say roll number 1 the person will stand if i don't take the name also he knows his roll number so you are being classified same way here we have to go for the classification so classification in biology is the systematic study so this is very important because of classification there is which type of study systematic study systematic study of what organisms organism because in nature we have lot of organisms we have n number of organisms we don't know which organism belongs to which group so we need to classify them so that classification is nothing but systematic study and then comes the evolution with respect to their evolution that means when we take the neanderthal man they are before us so they will come first 
then we come then comes the present day man homo sapiens then we are studying here homo sapiens so this is the classification and remember this is very important no two organisms in nature are identical even if you bring two birds they belong to the family of apes but these two birds have differences though there are some similarities there is difference between these two birds so that means no two organisms in nature are identical okay did you follow here so now we will go to page number 56 if you go to page number 56 they are given the need of classification so i told you classification based on what two things one is similarities similarities whether they have same variation variation means i told parallel variation reticulate variation root system whether it is tap root system or fibrous or adventitious whatever it is so based on similarities or based on the differences both so this classification is always based on two important things that is similarities and differences so now need of classification in your textbook it is very clearly given there are six points there first one it gives better knowledge and better understanding of organism so need of classification first point better knowledge and better understanding of organism so if you classify a group into algae algae you know algae means they belong blue green algae so you are grouped into the group of algae so that means they can produce their own food algae if it is fungi they cannot prepare their own food so here there are different groups so it gives you better knowledge and better understanding of organism just we will take that classroom example if you know the student is below average below average means what is taught he doesn't take it very soon into his head so what you will do is you will go down to that level of the student you will go down to the level of the student means you will go near him you will explain it little more slowly for him so that he will grasp those concepts so that means it gives us better knowledge and better understanding of organism second point you can study organism in proper and systematic manner classification is systematic study so here if you go for classification you get the systematic study second point third it helps to make comparison in an easiest way take example algae and fungi algae they are autotrophs fungi they are heterotrophs that means algae can prepare their own food fungi depends on others so see by you can compare and learn better there you can learn relationship among organisms relationship how they are related like you have groundnut and in its root nodules you can see some bacteria which settle down there so there is mutual give and take relationship so th that is all the relationship about organisms which you can learn next point makes more focused study so if you are learning about uh, algae you are learning you give you get so much knowledge about algae that different type blue green algae you come to know the other algae so in this way you get focused study last one gives an idea of evolution so looking at the characters you can come to know from where that organism has evolved so this points are very clear in your textbook page number 56 so today being saturday everyone lend me your ears see that you write the notes up to date up to date means now you should be ready with some questions what i say difficult words from the textbook from the lesson diversity in living organisms now as we move forward you got the point where it should be it should be in your page number textbook page number 56 now we are moving from classification now classification forms the basis for what did i say evolution now what does this evolution mean we say we have evolved from monkeys did you understand when i say monkey do you also have tail no 
Do you have that furry hairs? No. So that means see, we have evolved not one or two days. Many many millions of years ago, we started this process of what? Evolution. Evolution means what is it? The process of acquiring change. Just look at the board. Evolution is the process of acquiring change. Change means now when you go for take evolution of man, we the present day man, Homo sapiens, we do not have tail because tail has no use for us. So we have evolved. Evolved. Did you understand? The process of acquiring change. Whatever is the changes which help us, we acquire. And those things which we do not need are discarded. So, definition of evolution, process of acquiring change. Now, we will go to the exercises there in the textbook. Textbook page number 71. Second question, what is the basis of early classification? Then second one, third, another one question you have to write. How do monocots differ from dicots? That means differences between monocot and dicot. I told you monocot means having only one cotyledons. Dicot means di means two, two cotyledons, type of root, venation. So, second question, differences between monocot and dicot. Now, just come to the points to remember. In points to remember, there is definition of variation. Variation definition you have to write. You have to also write the definition of evolution. Already I wrote on the board, evolution is the process of acquiring change. Definition of variation, definition of evolution. So these are the things for you to be done. So see that you do the work what is allotted to you since today is Saturday. Everyone has to do the work in your notebook. So, thank you. Till we meet again.